In this problem, we need to apply a couple of properties of exponents. If you didn't get the properties of exponents, then you're going to want to make sure you just kind of rewrite them down. The first property of exponents, what's it called? The power of product. And what that states is if I have the product of two terms raised to an exponent, what that is equal to is each term raised to an exponent. So that's going to be a to the m times b to the m. All right, And just to kind of confuse, because last class period I showed a different example of this, it still works even if I had a to the p times b to the p raised to the m power equals a to the p times m times b to the p times m. All right, You need to make sure you multiply. There's two things. First thing is it distributes to both terms. The second thing is when you use a power of a product, that you're going to multiply them. Um, sorry, Chris, I don't have any more time. You're going to have to move up here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this. So therefore, I have 2 squared x squared times 4 squared y squared. Right? So you, just, so you just distribute that 2 into both terms. And now I simplify. 2 squared is 4 times x squared. 4 squared is 16 y squared. Then 16 times 4 is? 64 x squared y squared. Okay. Pedro, what's not fucking easy? Anna.